Calls for a ceasefire in Gaza, impossible for Bull City drivers to ignore. The main road to downtown at a standstill. As traffic mounted, police eventually able to negotiate an end to the protest. No one was arrested on scene, a decision that was controversial. Obviously, there was some pressure directed toward the uh, police uh, to uh, arrest someone. A decision was obviously made uh, that uh, there needed to be some uh, prosecution for this. It wasn't until two days later that the warrants were announced for four of the protesters. NCCU law professor Irv Joyner says the potential charges for impeding traffic are considered misdemeanors which is why he expected the protesters would likely turn themselves in. And that's exactly what happened. Three of the four women from Durham, Olivia Lynn, Leah Whitehead, and Janae Taylor, turning themselves in. Joyner says if they are first-time offenders, they'll likely face a fine. He also says free speech won't help their case since highways aren't considered a public forum. So that's not protected by the First Amendment. Uh, the First Amendment is not absolute. The pending charges and the traffic nightmare getting mixed reactions. Obviously, whether you agree with what they were doing or not, they got attention, so, and I think it's an important cause. A cause some feel couldn't be demonstrated any other way. And I can't speak for other Durhamites, but I think it's important to say your piece, even if it annoys other people. But this Duramite, who was once part of Occupy Wall Street, says there's a better way to get people to support your cause. You're not going to win people over by impeding them where they need to go. My honest opinion, as a protester, as an occupier, as an activist, yes, they should be charged because any other average person would be charged and you're no special, you're no different. But regardless of the consequences or what others might think, the Triangle Chapter of Jewish Voice for Peace, which organized the protest, telling us it was all worth it. Telling ABC 11 in a statement, quote, the entirety of last Thursday's Jewish-led protest lasted three hours. As people of faith and conscience, we are measuring that against three weeks and counting of mass atrocities committed by the Israeli military against Palestinians blockaded in Gaza, funded by our U.S. tax dollars. Now, we do know that the three women who turned themselves in were also immediately released uh, as long as they promised to appear in court. We do know that that... Uh, Fourth uh, warrant that was issued for Fati Manur. She is also from Durham. So far, uh, she has not turned herself in. Now, um, no word on any other possible charges other than uh, those four that we heard from before, but obviously a lot more than four were out here uh, as part of that protest. Unclear if any additional charges uh, will be announced. Reporting live in Durham, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, I know it's certainly snarled traffic there on Thursday. A lot of upset drivers uh, just trying to get to where they need to be. Tom, again, thank you for your reporting.